last time on Skill Tree. I am super excited for this trip and I can't wait next week to show you how it went. Keep leveling up you and as Larpshire says, adventure awaits! So I head out into the wild with a skip in my step and a heart full of song. Though, immediately, things started to get a little bit wonky. All right, been walking for a couple hours, a few hours, um, a little bit past noon right now. Having a little trouble with the map. It's not making a lot of sense, but weather's holding out and honestly, the gear is working good. I feel pretty warm. I did forget, glaringly stupid, gloves. My hands are real cold, but the reindeer pelt just kind of drapes over them anyway, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so far, the kit feels good. I feel warm, I feel comfortable, so let's just keep walking. At this point, I was real optimistic, but soon the hours passed and I strayed out of thought and time, wandering far roads I will not tell here. As I wandered, the branches wheeled overhead and each hour was as long as the life's age of the earth. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I might be in a little bit of trouble here. I can't make heads or tail of this map and it's starting to get dark. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to camp with what I have. They did this on purpose. I know they did. Who writes maps in paces? What are they, pirates? Killing me. All right, well, I guess there's gonna be more of a test than we thought it was gonna be. Time to spend the overnight and just everything I have. Here we go. All right, so the way I see it, I need shelter, then I need fire um, to not die. So luckily, I should have everything I need on me. My bag should be able to handle shelter for me. And then I have my flint and striker I hope I can make a fire with. Let's get started and see how all this stuff works. First things first, I started taking my bag of the Wanderer apart so that I can make my tent. Though it is a pain to have to take everything out of the bag, so maybe next time I'll organize a little better and just roll all my stuff up in like other bags or a blanket so that I can just keep them all together more simply. That said, it was pretty easy to get the tent all spread out and staked down how I needed it. The next step was just taking apart the frame of my backpack. All I had to do was pull out all the little pins holding together on the corner so that I can take the uprights from the backpack and use the coupling that's attached to one of them to make this long pole here. That's the pole I use for the center of my tent. Then it was just a matter of using the rope that was attached to the backpack to pull the back of the tarp tight, giving me more room and making my shelter generally complete. I also remember to pack the scrap of the waterproof tarp that the tent is made out of, which makes a perfect ground cover. Then for added insulation, I just put down my reindeer pelt and top the whole thing off with a woolen blanket. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a cozy little tent. The reindeer pelt is super soft and it was just kind of like really nice inside. I even noticed that the bottom shelf of my backpack makes this perfect little shelf to hold the things in my tent that I might need in the night. To make my camp even more cozy, I decided to give the staff of the Wanderer a try by taking it apart and then using the leather cordage that comes with it to combine the three pieces together to form the base of my stool. Then I just had to insert the ends of them into the pockets of that leather triangle that I was using for a pouch, and I've got this comfortable little seat to while away the hours on. With shelter all set, I got to clearing an area and digging a small indentation so that I can lay down a fire. I even managed to find these little stones nearby to make a ring around it just for some extra safety. Then I took a seat and just started processing some fuel. So in theory, I should just be able to take one of these little pieces of char cloth here, and then put it onto my piece of flint, like so, like that, and then strike the flint with my striker, my little steel striker I forged, to make sparks, which will catch onto the, the char cloth here and hopefully start my fire. This was my first time just kind of attempting this out in the woods and I wasn't sure I'd be able to get it to take, but the whole process only took about five minutes before my char cloth caught a spark and I was able to breathe this fire to life. From there, it was just a matter of adding the fuel that I'd already prepared. And soon it really began to look like I was going to survive this whole endeavor. Okay, at this point, I have the fire going 
pretty ch I'm really proud that I was able to get the fire going with the flint and striker. That's like, that's great for me. And my camp is all set up. The sun is actually just about to set and it's getting colder. I've been really lucky today. It's only been like 35-ish, but it's definitely starting to drop. So I'm gonna just kind of hunker in, have a little bit of food and survive the night. <laughs> So far, so good though. All the kit is working out perfectly. So yeah, not bad. I actually found that a large portion of my downtime was devoted to just processing wood to keep the fire going. But soon I was able to actually just kind of sit and relax, lighting my pipe from the fire that I made with flint and steel and having a bite to eat from my rations. As the temperature dropped and I began to look for things to do to take my mind off the cold, I decided to practice honing my ax with a whetstone but quickly found that my mind began to drift into somewhat darker territories. You know, I remember reading once that you need something other than food and water and all that to survive a bad situation. You need a purpose, a reason to survive. For some it's family or a loved one. For me though, For me, I think revenge will do. Larfshire, I know you did this to try to steal Maddie. Again. So how's this? When I find you, I'm gonna... Hold on. Oh, it's just the Google invite helpfully telling me that the event is starting. What's this? Huh. So the invite... It has a, it has a map, a map attached to it. It's entirely possible, it's entirely possible that this was the prop map for, for the LARP that we're supposed to be. Where am I? Ben, Abby. Uh, sorry, I couldn't make it. Um, I just decided to go on a camping trip, just on a whim. You know how I do. I'm kind of crazy like that. Anyways, I hope you kids are having just the most fun. Uh, and I really hope you didn't need this map for the event. Though admittedly feeling a bit sheepish, I was honestly feeling really good at how well all the stuff I put together was working. It was really just kind of nice to settle in and enjoy the quiet until it was time to go to bed. Okay, I am, oh, I got cold, I didn't see my, my breath. I am settling in for the night. Uh, my fire is just about completely burned down. Actually, a lot of the warmth came into the tent, which is nice, it's not bad in here at all. Um, so I am going to just kind of hunker down for the night. Uh, my ground cover feels warm too, with the, the reindeer hide underneath it. Um, otherwise, it's just, well, it feels pretty comfortable right now. It's cold for sure, but uh, I'm just gonna get underneath my, my cloak here, big old woolen cloak, and uh, hope for the best. So, see you in the morning. Okay, I'm up. Uh, it was definitely cold last night. I looked on my phone and said it got to about um, it's 27 right now. Oh, well, it's cold. But honestly, I was pretty comfortable with all the layers. I definitely needed to have my hood up um, and to really be wrapped up in my cloak. But success, um, I'm gonna break down camp because it's gonna rain halfway through the day. So time to head back. Now knowing my creations work and I can survive the night in the winter woods with them, I was confident knowing that nothing could stand in my way. Except perhaps an extremely poor sense of direction and a really large body of water. But that, that's a story for another day. Thank you all for listening to my story of trial and, let's face it, mostly error. It was really cool though to give all the stuff I've been making a shot and just kind of see how it all worked. I know a lot of you have been asking to see like the Wanderer's kit in action, so it was really cool to put it to the test. I know this content was a little bit different, we decided to have fun with it, but I hope you liked it. If you did, why don't you give me some of that like it love, and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. Also, just as a disclaimer, be careful in the woods, especially in winter. Like, don't go out alone, I definitely had a way to get help if I needed it. But yeah, don't mess around with that, it can be really serious. So you know, stay
Stay safe out there. And in the meantime, keep leveling up, you. Thank you so much for staying to the end screen. YouTube loves it when you do. It is a fantastic way to support this channel. Another great way to support this channel is by joining these people's noble ranks by becoming one of our Patreon members. An extra special shout out to our newest high tier level Patreon members, Elwood Talent and Adeline Nielsen. Thank you so much. It means the world to me that you're helping this channel grow and supporting us this way. If you'd like to support the channel, consider joining our Patreon, link in the description below. Otherwise, you can just click on one of these episodes over here that YouTube thinks you'd like. They're not as epic as this one, but they're really good.